Yup, it's the Mighty Jalak, aka Cap. We're on a single play. You know what time it is? It's mesh time. As you can see, we're outside of scorched earth. Uh, we're outside the world barrier here. So uh, yeah, let let's get into it. As you can see here, fucking right the map. We're out the mesh. We're out the world barrier. You can place structures, as you can see with a TP. So um, yeah, let's get into how we get out of here. Uh, just one thing to add. There's not a huge amount of room between the world barrier and like the end of a texture you can actually stand on but I, I feel like you could breed out here or you, or you can make a crafting station or, or a small little safe uh, for yourself so right let's get into it as you can see I'm on scorched earth um, we done one uh, little mesh video on scorched earth a little while ago and this is kind of a continuation of that now the thing about scorched earth as I'm going to show you now as you can see I've got a few TPs here that's for uh, testing the thing about scorched earth um, along with all the maps now is the mesh detections a lot better so you get teleported out a lot depending on where your character is picked up to be so just to give you an example of this if I just run out of this room in fact if you haven't seen the video you should probably go and check the video out we're in a cave um, in the crack by red orb and there's pretty much a, a hole in the ceiling you need a tech suit to go up to that hole and then you throw a tame out ride the tame get off the team and then you, you're through the mesh that's the mesh hole that's the mesh method for uh, this scorched earth uh, mesh hole now if you fly off like that as you can see you get TP'd out it looks like we're still out the map but we're not out the map there we go you got TP'd so just for testing purposes I put those TP's up just to make it easier for me to travel around um, and if, if you're going to do any testing on single player, and it is quite frustrating when you're out of a mesh show and then you get TP'd and this, this and this. So make sure you put sleeping bags along your way, make sure you put TP's. And especially if you're doing this on official, uh, maybe not this method, but any form of meshing on official, make sure you bring your trans and sleeping bag all the time. Treat it as a checkpoint, because as long as you're trans and your sleeping bag are down, then you it don't matter where you get TP'd, because you're going to come back. You, you get it. So uh, here we're above the cave again. If you haven't seen the video, I'll go check that out. Um, there's a few bits you can do in this cave and around this cave. You can put cliff platforms up around the cave. You can drop down a a fair way down here, and you can you could make a reasonable amount of ground out of cliff platforms. However, the downside is anyone down here with a parasaur um, or a tech cat potentially, maybe even a bulldog, might be able to pick up uh, an enemy player or enemy teams out here. So what we're going to do to bypass the teleportation, mesh detection, uh, mesh prevention system is we're going to drop down. Now something I always do and mention in my mesh videos is try to get your feet firmly placed on the texture when you can. It, and I, I feel it kind of reboots the game as to you, you are on this map. Um, but when we get to the bottom of there, hug the side of the wall, you're just going to drop down. Sorry for the brightness here, I've got preview mode on, uh, it, it helps when you're doing stuff out of the mesh or looking for mesh holes, I feel, uh, personally, anyway. So, once you drop down far enough, it'll take a minute and it'll just be a little bit laggy because uh, you're swapping through biomes. And there we have it, we're under the map, we haven't been teleported out and you're here permanently. The only thing I do have to add is your player isn't going to touch the floor for a little while, can be a little bit nerve wracking. Um, however it is what it is when you get out here you want to just fly as far away as you can from the center of the map go towards the mountains and when you feel like oh I'm probably near the world barrier now then poke your head up now the thing with this one there's as I mentioned at the start of the video there's not that much texture in between the world barrier and kind of the end of the the walkable map so um, what you want to do is you want to go all the way out and then come back in again if that makes sense and I'll, I'll show you what I mean uh, just here so I've gone too far out so now I'm going back in carefully kind of with my head around the kind of uh, fake texture and then soon you'll see the texture split as you can see here there's two one above me and, and one under me the one under me is the true actual surface uh, the nice thing about the little scorched earth meth is you can't actually see through the world barrier if there was a structure 